Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, and uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This spread could be about anything. It could be about love, it could be about work, business, or it could be about sport, if you're into sport or some sort of a competition. The main idea of the spread I see here is um, a very victorious ending of one cycle and a as a result of that uh, a beginning of another cycle, but the new cycle will begin on the level up. So you're basically leveling up because of this victory here. Let's talk about work first. So the first card I came out is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of work, business, right? Working hard on something. And it's clarified by the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of recognition. So perhaps you are finishing some kind of a project you've been working on and uh, you are being recognized. You could be embracing the energy of the Queen of Wands right there, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, or the Queen of Wands is associated with you and uh, your workplace in some sort of way. It could be your colleague, it could be your boss, right, or it could be somebody from, um, it could be an executive, basically, right, but the main idea here, you are being recognized with the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups, this is a card of uh, celebration of some sort, perhaps you're being promoted as well, or you could be starting a new job and this is just you celebrating the start of the new job. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, this is all about a new cycle starting. So like I said, you could be finishing uh, one job, starting a new job, you could be uh, finishing a project and being recognized and as a result of that you'll be respected at the company or you could be promoted and as a result of that you'll be starting on the next level up. If this is about sport right here, then this is a victory. This is a very clear victory with the 601s. This is something you've been working towards and uh, over the weekend you're going to win. And the Three of Cups, this is a card of a celebration. And the Wheel of Fortune, this is again a new cycle starting for you as a, you are leveling up because of this victory. If this is about love, then uh, you could be dealing with this Queen of Wands, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Uh, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person is very fiery, very passionate, right? You could be embracing the energy of this Queen of Wands, somebody who is uh, very fiery and passionate. And uh, if that's the case, then um, this is still a victory here you are probably uniting with someone. It could be with this Queen of Wands and uh, it could be a start of a new relationship or you could be taking your existing relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. So, um, Air Science, this is a great spread. Uh, very celebratory, very victorious. Uh, I do see an accomplishment here and uh, I do see you leveling up in some kind of a way. Gemini. We have the Moon, we have the Hierophant, we have Justice clarified by the Emperor, and uh, we have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, or a Taurus, or a Libra, or an Aries. So yeah, you could be dealing with any or all or some of those signs I just mentioned, because we've got cards for all of them. Um, we have five major arcana cards on the table, so every single card on the table right now is a major arcana, so this is going to be a very, very significant weekend for you, Gemini. And it kind of reminds me of the uh, new love spread I did for you in my uh, weekly reading for this week, the uh, January 31st through February 6th reading. So I think this is, uh, this is it. This is uh, the uh, point X where you'll have to make a, some, some kind of a decision. And as a matter of fact, you'll be forced to make a decision about something because uh, it kind of looks like the situation has been lingering around or it will be lingering around for a few days. And uh, by the time the weekend comes around, uh, you will have to make a decision, right? Because uh, uh, we have the moon and the hangman. 
Uh, the moon, like I said, could be a Pisces you're dealing with, or the moon is uh, your energy in Gemini. You have fears, you have doubts, you're not 100% sure, and uh, that's why you could be procrastinating, you could be taking your time, you could be really up in your head about something. Right, the hangman on the bottom of the deck is that situation that you've been stuck in or you have been trying to make a decision about but you were unable to make a decision. Then we have the Hierophant, it could be a Taurus you're dealing with or it could be about something traditional like a commitment or marriage, right? Or it could be a contract at work that uh, somebody wants you to sign. Um, it could be a new job offer, but you're just not 100% sure. And then we have Justice clarified uh, by the Emperor. Justice is the personal Libra card, the Emperor is the personal Aries card. You could be dealing with any of those two signs. But uh, if we want to stay general, then Justice clarified by the Emperor, this is all about um, making a decision. This is all about taking control, this is all about stepping up and moving forward. So like I said, um, the universe is going to force you to make a decision. Circumstances will be in turning in such a way that you will have no other choice but to make some kind of a resolution. And uh, like I said, it could be about um, anything. It could be family, it could be a relationship like we saw in the weekly spread, um, or, or it could be about work. But um, I do see this weekend is some kind of a point of your life where your life was one way prior to this weekend and because of this decision your life will undergo some kind of a transformation in a positive way. I don't see anything negative here. Perhaps this is just a very major step you have to make and uh, you have doubts, you have fears, you don't know what's going to happen on the other side, you don't want to get out of your comfort zone but as we all know that <laughs> Well, everything new requires getting out of our comfort zone and uh, hopefully this will be a success for you and like I said I don't see anything negative here but uh, the five major arcana cards speaks volumes this is uh, your life is not going to be the same after this weekend however this plays out for you um, you're not going to be able to avoid it so prepare yourself now <laughs> uh, do your research if you have to uh, weigh all pros and cons. That's what the uh, Justice card could uh, here symbolize because uh, the Justice card is holding up the scales. I know you can barely see it because of the lightning. But um, yeah, you will have to make a decision. So I wish you to make the right decision, Gemini. Libra. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician, we have the Chariot, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer. So something you've been waiting for is finally starting to move forward. Or somebody could be coming back from the past, wanting to reconcile with you. And by the way, this spread could be about love, or it could be about work, or it could be about pretty much anything. You could have been waiting for some kind of a travel trip. Right to um, to get started, or you've been waiting for some kind of an authorization to travel, and that will finally be uh, coming to you. <laughs> so let's talk about work real quick. Um, so the Seven of Pentacles, the card right next to uh, the deck. This is a card of waiting, and I think this is you waiting for something. Uh, it's possible that you just recently went through a few interviews, and uh, you're waiting for them to get back to you. Um, or perhaps you've been waiting for some kind of funds to be approved or you've been waiting for something to move forward basically, right? And uh, the Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is your energy in this case. This is you feeling left out in the cold because, um, you know, whenever we wait for something we really want, we really feel left out in the cold and I feel you this way. Um, the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician. The Magician is uh, you manifesting this, you really wanting this, right? And you're not just manifesting, uh, you've done some work here. The Chariot could be a Cancer you're dealing with, or this is all about moving forward. And uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think this is um, this breakthrough. So uh, some news are going to come your way, or information is going to come your way, or the answer is gonna come your way. I don't see anything negative here. The Five of Pentacles came out first, 
right? So this is the energy of the past or this is the energy of uh, your current situation. But then we have the chariot, the seven of uh, pentacles and the ace of swords. The seven of pentacles is a positive card because uh, like I said, you've already done the work and you're just waiting for all those pentacles to come into fruition, right? Uh, if this is about um, love, then it's pretty much the same thing. But in this case, somebody, I think, is coming back from the past. The Five of Pentacles in this case is somebody trying to come out of the cold and uh, get back together with you. And uh, they're manifesting you back into their life with the Magician card and the Chariot. Could be a Cancer you're dealing with, but this is them uh, wanting to get this relationship back on the road. Or this is them literally coming over to your house and uh, just... Uh, starting to talk to you about it. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of uh, waiting again. Perhaps they will talk to you and then they will wait for your answer and uh, you will give them an answer with the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I don't know what the answer is going to be but like I said I don't see anything negative here. I don't see any rejections here and the Five of Pentacles as I just mentioned a couple of minutes ago this is a card of uh, either the past or the current energy. The future it looks bright. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, this is uh, a positive spread. Uh, this is either a breakthrough or some kind of information is going to come uh, your way and um, it'll set, set the record straight or something you've been waiting for is finally arriving and I think it's going to be something you really wanted finally coming into your life. Aquarius, we have the Moon, clarified by the Five of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ten of Cups, and we also have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces. So this spread kind of looks like you are releasing the past and uh, you are embracing the present and the future, Aquarius. Um, another way I can interpret this is uh, you could be going on a family trip, but you had some worries about that, but you're overcoming that. Yeah, so let's talk about that first. So the Wheel of Fortune could be a trip, right? The Wheel of Fortune could be all about moving as well. And uh, the Moon, clarified by the Five of Cups, this is you having um, doubts, you're a little bit worried about it, perhaps due to what's going on in the world. And uh, you're looking at everything that you uh, learned about this current situation, but then I think you're going to make a decision with the Three of Wands. To go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune comes into fruition, it starts spinning and the Ten of Cups, this is a card of happiness. This is also a card of family, so you could be going on a trip together with your family. And uh, it could be a road trip, it could be a trip to another state, another country, another city. You know, I don't know the distance, but um, you will still be going. <laughs> If this is not about a trip, then um, you could be getting into a relationship with somebody. And uh, it could be with somebody new or if uh, this person has been in your life for a little bit, perhaps you were still a little bit worried that this relationship will turn out to be the same crap as uh, your previous relationships, right? Or you had doubts about this person, but you still decided to give them a chance. So this weekend, it's going to become... Um, evident to you that uh, you can drop the past at long last and move forward. So the moon clarified by the five of cups, this is going to become the energy of the past and uh, this is you thinking about what happened to you in the past, uh, you still comparing your previous relationships with this new relationship, right? So this is going to become the thing of the past because with the three of wands on the bottom of the deck, this is you, you turning your back to the past and you're looking into the future and you're making plans together with this new person. Or you could be starting a new relationship, especially if you meet somebody over the week and then it, it'll be a really quick decision for you. The Wheel of Fortune is all about starting a new cycle and the Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships. Um, this is also called the uh, happiness after hardship or happily ever after and I really love the fact that uh, it came out last this ten of cups so yeah this is an improvement spread Aquarius your life is about to get much much better congratulations 
And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.